Well, I got in last night and there was a couple boxes and there's a few things here that I kind of, well, I'm hoping one of the things that I've been waiting for, I wanted to do a little review on was, I'll show you when I get it. It's probably been reviewed before, but so I ordered this. It's the, um, the Elgato Wave Mic Arm LP, was it low profile, I guess, yeah. So I want to do a quick unboxing, take a peek at that. And I'm really hoping the other thing I've been waiting on is in there because it's been a while. Yeah, I've got, <laughs> I got three computers sitting there. That one I'm just waiting on a couple fans to come in. I did want to do, I wanted to do an unboxing on this. It's the uh, Wave 3, the Elgato Wave 3 microphone. It's a USB mic. I use an XLR and it, I like it. But I wanted to try this out, and everybody speaks so highly of them. But I ended up opening; I couldn't, couldn't resist. <laughs> I haven't tested it yet, so I'll let you know how that works out when I do the review on after I get this stuff set up. Come on, how does this stuff open already? Oh, here we go. Okay, so. Uh, I doubt I'm going to need these directions. It looks like there's only like four pieces to the whole bloody thing. The whole bloody thing. i throw this crap over there. Okay. Interesting. I did see some review on this before, and it said that this is kind of a proprietary setup. But... It's Elgato, so it should go fine with that microphone. It's something about magnets. Oh, here we go. All right, that's where everything goes inside. We'll look at this all when it's done after, and I guess. Okay, you. Get Eddie the way. Get out. Oh, there's something else in there. Wow, this is nice. This is really heavy. This is... Oh, okay. That's what they were doing when I seen it. You can flip this around so you don't have to keep spinning and spinning it. If you hit a corner or a leg, you can just snoop. I guess, and then pop it back in, and yeah, that's what it is, and then complete your turn. All right, coolness, coolness. Oh, I think that's going to be perfect height. Okay. I know this is an odd type of unboxing video. just got, I'm going to try the new, I got the Battlefield 2042 and I played it the other day, seems pretty cool, but I'm dying to try that Call of Duty Vanguard, I've been watching a streamer, Jada Jada STI, seems to be a pretty cool guy, this didn't come from Lee and Lee. They must have threw something in the box. Well, it looks like I've got packing material for a while. Holy mackerel. This stuff is it. This stuff gets expensive. This is a pain in the neck getting this stuff. You gotta order it in big rolls. I'm just better off buying. Ah, it's here. I wanna cut the cord. It's the Logitech G502 light speed. Alright. So let's take a peeky see at it. I know you're probably saying, oh, crap, he's got over there and he wants to open up a, 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 a wireless mouse. Well, this is just, I've been wanting to get this for a while. I've got a ton of stuff to ship out. That taller machine over there, that one's got a 58 in it, a 58X. 
3060 Ti, X570 board, 16 gigs of RAM, good RAM. That little square one right there I was going to use for a server, for a streamer. I decided just to, st <laughs> the way these video cards and things are set up now, dual rigs are nice. For the amount of streaming I do, I don't need a dual setup. And if I ever do, then I'll throw one up there. But that one's got a gigabyte board in it, a mini ITX X570 Pro. And it's got a 3060 Ti. And it's water cooled. That's got a 58X in it and 16 gigs. And this other one's got a 3080 Ti in it. That's a cooler master case. This one's a thermal take, and that one's a, a name that I've never dealt with before, but the guy really wanted a, a Mustex. I never heard of it, but the quality seemed to be pretty good. So yeah, 3080 Ti, another one, 50, it's got a 58X in it. What is it, okay. A little charging port in the front. I know it said it's got weights you can add to it or something. Okay, here we go. Oh man, they give you a big old sticker, sticker, sticker. Big old sticker. All right, here's the cable. I wonder if you can use this cable to, to hardwire it as well. And this must be oh yeah okay i'm just gonna get it it's gonna be broken. okay okay yeah and there goes my weights oh they're kind of all over the place oh here's here's your your little usb dongle got your dongle hanging there got your dongle in there i guess this goes back in here and we get two more smaller ones you can see in a dongle with a little is this how it goes yeah okay oh wow oh that's it what the heck i thought that this was it i guess that's just it right there because i am not a great gamer so i'm looking for any little edge i can get to keep up with these young bucks right, i got some cards some of these TIs, 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 TIs. And yes, as you can see, it comes right from the distributor. I'm not hawking the shit out of the stuff anywhere. Oh, these are nice. What are these? Two, 280s. See, what happens is when I buy from a distributor, Everybody's out to make a buck these days. So you buy from a distributor. For every card I buy, I gotta buy something else. So I always try, they, they call it a one for one. So I always try to either get a power supply that I know is going in the build in the future, or a water cooler, maybe a motherboard. I've got some DDR5, what is it, 5600 RAM coming on an Intel board. It's an Asus Prime board, 1700. I think I'm I think I'm going to build that, or I'm going to build an Intel rig. I haven't built one of them in a freaking dog's age. I think EVGA makes one of the nicest looking water coolers. And the best thing that I really like about them is the way the hose goes into the top of your water pump. It, it just makes life so much easier to be able to pop something right down. I wasn't really planning on making this a, a video. Um, I figured what the heck really I think it's an S X 570 S so it doesn't it's the same exact board it just doesn't have the little fan on the VRAM the Movo uh, I loved it the last one it worked beautiful so hey I'll, I'll take it man I, I I've, I've spent like over the last year I must have bought like eight different <laughs> wireless mics and they were horrible all of them it was very nice of them to get it was they go for like a hundred bucks something like that 80 bucks 100 bucks so anyways thank them actually i'm building three more i'm building one more square one i don't know what it is with white lately everybody wants white i'm building one more white like that but it's going to have a 5950 in it 
um, because of the length, you are limited on what size card you can put in. You can only use like dual fan. You can't put, there's no way a three fan unless you get a smaller three fan. I don't know which one might fit in it, but I know I tried to put one in and it wasn't happening. And I'm building two more of that Cooler Master NR200. That, that's a, I love that case. What a nice case. I'm not building another one of those. Okay, folks, we'll be back. I got my mouse in hand and my mic, you know, think about it. It's got a nice heavy base, this mic, but the sides are made of plastic. I'm surprised. I'm surprised it's not made of metal. I mean, it, it's, it's actually in a good way. It's a good, strong plastic and it lightens everything up. But I'm just surprised it's not like made of aluminum or something. But that's okay. Everybody raves about them. So rave on. I hope it's as good as they say. Because I'll even get rid of the XLR because I just like USB. Plug and play and go. But I'm, I'm not a full-time streamer where I, I need to get a $1,300 mic. You know, if it comes in clear and you can hear me. And it's not something with a noise that's going to turn people away from the video, then I'm happy.